Hello and welcome to another episode of webinformant.tv. I'm David Strom, your host and reviewer. Today we will look at how to get more insight into the applications running on your network and how to control these applications to improve your network operations with the Blue Coat Systems Packet Shaper. We're looking at the Packet Shaper's dashboard that is showing us real-time results of the top 10 inbound and outbound applications and how much of our simulated 1.5 megabit T1 internet connection they consume. Let's look at four typical questions that an IT manager might have about their network. First, I may be worried that my users are wasting time on Facebook and MySpace, but are they impacting my network bandwidth and interfering with business critical applications by accessing these social networking sites? To answer this, we go to the traffic management screen and look at these apps. Here you see the historical graphs for Facebook, and while there's some traffic generated, it isn't much more than a few kilobits of bandwidth. Nevertheless, we can change the priority of this traffic, in effect slow down our user's connection to these specific websites. We click on the policy manager icon on the left, and click on the control traffic tab, select the priority type, and then change its priority from number three, which is normal, to number one, which is low. There are other ways to Limit, rate limit traffic to a portion of your total bandwidth with the Packet Shaper product. This could ensure that if users access audio and video content on these sites, they won't interfere as much with other more business-oriented network applications. You can also completely block this application should that be appropriate for your situation. Let's move on to another question. Do I have enough bandwidth to handle video-oriented applications like YouTube and WebEx? Video can be a very intensive use of bandwidth, and it also suffers in quality if it does not have the right network conditions. If we go back to the dashboard, we see that WebEx is among our top 10 apps on the pie charts. If we go into the Traffic Management tab and select this application, you can see that at peak times of the day, we are consuming our entire T1 with WebEx video conferences. Again, we can give this traffic higher priority, assuming that it's for real business purposes, using a similar process to what we just showed. Here's another issue. What's the impact of real-time streaming apps like Pandora on my network? Pandora allows you to set up a customized internet radio station that users can listen to on their desktops. The trouble is they often mute them or walk away from their PCs and don't turn off the streams. Again, we search for this app and display the historical report for average and peak utilization, and you can see that frequently Pandora has various peaks as it grabs new songs to stream. One final question. How do I know that my business critical applications are working properly and have acceptable response times in all of my branch offices? We're looking at this report that is showing the response time information for a variety of applications with green meaning they're performing within acceptable parameters. Here we see SAP and email, among others, are showing some critical warnings. As you can see, there's a lot of insight into how your applications are being used with the Blue Coat Package Shaper. There are plenty of products that can report on network traffic, such as sniffers, but they're more focused on lower level network reporting and analysis of particular protocols rather than providing visibility and control of applications. There are also firewalls and intrusion prevention products that can block apps, but not as easily control them. And there are web filtering products that can block particular categories of applications going across these ports, but again, not offer much in the way of granular control. Thanks for watching webinformant.tv. Feel free to send me your comments via email to david at strom.com.